Hello everyone. This game is called Afternoon in Depression. I've never really done a visual novel, so I thought, you know what? Fuck it, I'll give it a go. So let's get started, shall we? My eyes are open. The rays of sun blinds me, so I reach for a pillow and smother my face with it. Moving my arms invites pain. The same pain that attacks my thick legs as I dangle them under the covers. I close my eyes. A thick fog encompasses my brain. Sweet sleep is coming back. But it's hopeless. Another thought invades my brain. Isn't it two in the afternoon? Fuck. My mum will yell at me if I go back to sleep again. Get a job or some shit like that. Why can't I just go back to sleep? Because sleep would be happiness. And I can't be happy, so I have to get up. I crawl on my single-sized bed to my nightstand. Without contacts, I have to squint to see the numbers on the alarm clock. I pull the damn machine to my face. 4pm? I collapse on the bed, letting the alarm bounce on the mattress. Fuck. 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 I sigh. Will I study for college? Will I apply to some job? Will I run or swim or walk or do sit-ups? Maybe I'll just play Candy Crush or Clash of the Clans all day. I take a breath. There's a bucket of ice cream sitting in a chair in front of my face. I want ice cream. It's probably only half finished. Hmm. Let's do some ice cream, then sit-ups. I crawl to my chest is on the edge of the bed. I reach out my hands. Uh, it's not close enough. I stretch. My elbows lock. My arm hurts, but still not far enough. I don't feel like getting up. I think of another way to get it. I spin around on the bed. I stretch my feet and grab the bucket of ice cream and pull it to my hands. I tilt the bucket. Some of the strawberry ice cream spills out onto my shirt. Ugh. I want to wipe it up, but... Meh. I tilt the bucket and drink some of the ice cream fluid. This is disgusting. I should have put it in the fridge. I don't want to eat this anymore. I want to put it on the floor. But I don't want to move. I'm so fucking lazy. Why am I such a... deficient human being? Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! I toss the half-empty bucket of ice cream across the floor. It splatters against the wall and falls into some useless shit on the floor. Are you happy now? Did doing something angry do anything? Nope. Not yesterday. Not today. I lie completely down and close my eyes. I've got to pee. I open my eyes. Under the bed between the socks, papers, carbon boxes and cookie wrappers is my black cat. Rayshon. With his golden eyes, he watches me watch him. I reach out to him. He meows and runs away. He doesn't care about me. And something about that makes me feel good. He's a cat. He's not supposed to care about anybody. I push myself to my feet. Pick up my alarm clock. 9.37. I place it on the nightstand. I scratch my stomach. I should study. If I study algebra for the college entry test, my mum won't nag me. I brush cookie crumbs off my arm and walk out of my room into the living room. No one's home. Mum must work late today. Good. Oh god, I hate this. I left my notebook in my room. Crap. Let's get my notebook to study. Let's do something productive. Meh. I storm into the room, smashing the door into the wall. Whatever. I look at my pile of useless shit I call a room. Where's my math book? I look at my dresser. There's books on there. 
I pull up another book while looking for my math book. Nope. I bend down and check under the bed. While on the floor, I just want to lay down. I stand up quickly to end the temptation. Where the fuck did I put it? Did I put it in my closet? I don't think so. I open my closet. Clothes and a suitcase fell out. Ugh. I kick the clothes and the suitcase back into the closet. I attempt to close the door in vain. My bed? I pull up my cover. Nope, nothing. I look at the dresser again and open a few of the drawers. Nothing. I pick up some objects on the dresser and knock over others. I've really got to pee! I leave my room and go into the bathroom. I flip on the light and the fan. With a heavy sigh, I face the mirror. My shirt is stained. I place a hand on my belly. You're not supposed to eat ice cream by the bucket. You'll never look attractive this way. I throw the thought out of my head. I sit down and pee. It's not like I'm not going to eat whatever ice cream mum brings home. I go to my room and lay face up on the bed. I close my eyes. Nothing. Fuck. I can't even fall asleep. Reach for... Myself. Rub one out right quick. Right good right now. Or my cell phone. Play a game. Hmm. My cell phone. I repeatedly spat my bed with my hand. That's what I mean. <laughs> my hand bounces on nothing until I finally slide it under a pillow and bump into something metal. I hold my phone above my head. 23% battery. One new message. Ugh. What does he want? I click on the envelope to see another message from Matthew Chu. He sent re -me three messages since the last time I last said something to him on Thursday. Hey, what are you up to? I click back and over to Candy Crush. I play level 86 and over and over. Fuck it! I toss the phone on the bed. There's nothing to do. I reach between my legs and knock one out. Then there's a ceiling. I stare at the ceiling and stare at the ceiling. I stare at the ceiling some more. Ding dong! Who's at the door? Did I order something? I waddle to the door and open it. Hey. Yes? Where have you been? Just here. I force a smile. I know he wants to come in. He's been in a bunch of times before, and well, I don't have the energy to tell him to go home. I walk to my couch and sit. He follows and sits down, pulling his suitcase, his backpack back off. Dama, Lai and Ahmed are like, where are you? I said I'm here. What have you been doing all week? Nothing. I'm starting to get annoyed by his endless questions. Nothing? Candy Crush? Cool, I've been playing that game a lot too. And Clash of Clans, it's really addicting, right? I guess. Why can't he just stop talking to me? You don't look happy. So? You look cuter when you're happy. I laid at him. Why should I even bother trying to be cute? Stop it. I'm serious, you should smile. I don't have to smile all the time. I put on a huge smile and then let my face revert to normal. What's wrong? Should I say it? What should I say? What is it? Um... Um... You see... Um... Uh, uh, what's the opposite of happy? Sad? What's the opposite of them both? Anger? What if all three of those were a triangle and something was opposite to those, or something was in the middle of those? I don't know. Matt shrugs his shoulders. <sighs> Whatever. I slouch on the couch. Matt leans over towards me. Nothing. Nothingness. Sadness. I close my eyes. 
Sharp pains are starting to penetrate my head. I think that's it. I don't want to be in this world anymore. That's crazy! Why? I think a lot of people like you. <laughs> I think a lot of people like you, I mean... <laughs> no one likes me. Matt looks at me and says nothing. Is there a reason why you're nothing sad? I don't think so. Is it because you're not in college yet? I don't know. It's not that big a deal. I'm not in college yet, also. At least you can study and take tests to get in. My parents don't even have enough money. Does that make you happier? No. If you're in college, don't you think... you would be happy? No. Maybe we should go see a comedy. I don't want to go anywhere. We could watch some comedy on TV? I don't care. Matthew grabs the remote and turns on the TV. He switches through the channels. What if you, like, wrote out your feelings or something like that? Maybe it would make you happier. That sounds boring. I want you to be happy. <sighs> okay. Okay, I got something. I turn away from him and say nothing. He pulls out a bottle of wine. Oh, sweet, sweet alcohol! That's what I was gonna say anyway! How did this game know? How did he get it? I just wanna get drunk. But it can't be good. I'm just gonna feel like shit afterwards. And do I really want to get drunk around Matthew? DRINK! Open it. He twists the cap off, takes a swig and then hands it to me. Lady second. He laughs. I take a sip, then another, and a gulp. Let me get some. Hold up. I gulp down as much as I can. I want to get drunk. I hand him a bottle with only a quarter of a wine left. It tastes like arse. It's an acquired taste. I slump down in the couch and await a quiet mind. This hopefully will bring happiness. Hope? <laughs> I'm totally wasted. He drinks down the rest. We both just sit there for a second. Hey, be serious about this, okay? What is this guy even talking about? Ahmed is throwing a party Saturday. Yep, not going to that. Everyone misses you, like everyone. Dharma said you were her high school sister. Ugh. Dharma was cool, but I haven't felt like calling her. Come on, just like one party. I'll never ask you to go anywhere ever again. I don't want to go outside, but I don't want to be here either. You promise? Yep, just come with me to the party. I can get us a ride and pay for a taxi. Uh, please. I don't know. Let's agree. Fine. Cool. Makes me happy. We can wear matching outfits or something. I don't even have enough energy to roll my eyes. I sit there with him and watch TV for a while. What's the point of this anyway? Something touches my leg. I look to see his hand there. What the fuck is he doing? With his hand on my thigh, he looks me in the eyes. Oh, not him. No. Bird. No. I like you. No. I don't know what else to say. No. Why is he doing this now? Matt stands up. He looks back down at me. He's angry at me. Do I really care? No. He glares something dangerous at me. He spins away from me, a tear falling from his face. I wish I could feel bad for him. He stomps out of my house and slams the door. I lay down and roll over on my couch. I need to hide this alcohol bottle before Mum comes back. I fold my hands under my head and just sit there.
Well, that was the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting and different for me to play something like this. Tell me what you think below and if you want to see me do kind of more visual kind of novels, then maybe say. I'll see you guys again soon.